Making chicken chow mein, we need mung beans. So soak them for a couple of hours, soften up the things, and then it's rinse and shake, rinse and shake twice a day for the next four days or so. I'll show you what they look like later. Okay, so hopefully we've got you, get rid of that, got you on the right um, setting so you can see me. Well, you can't see me, I'm up here. Um, what we're going to do today is we're doing something different for eating when it's, you can't do any outside work or whatever. So this, although it looks kind of odd, are mung beans, so bean sprouts, things you kind of find in Chinese food dishes. Um, I'll show you how I do mine, um, and then it's something you can do, like I said, rain or shine. So what I'm doing right now is rinsing them, and I do this twice a day. Um, I'm doing it an extra time just for you. So twice a day, give them a good shake. You gotta try and help get those green, green casings off the beans, and I'll show you what they look like earlier as well. So this is what we do twice a day until you think they're swollen enough for you or until they fill up the jar so much they won't fill any anymore. Um, oops. Try not to kill that. So this is how they end up looking. This is what you normally get on your Chinese food dishes. And these little green things all come off and we soak them in a bowl so they float to the top and do them that way. And then I just turn it upside down. You can see the water dripping out. I turn it upside down and stand it in a bowl. And that's how we do them until we're ready to use them. If you can't use them right away, they can be stored in the fridge for a couple of days as well. This is what they look like. I should have put this at the beginning of the video, but I never thought about it. This is what they look like when they come from the store. I buy a humongous bag of them. Um, I'm not sponsored by Food and Live. Um, this is what they look like. And I soak them for a couple of hours beforehand and then just start the rinsing process. And they usually take about three to four days. Um, depending on how fat you want them and how many you're doing. Okay, so the last part is to get all the green things off. Dump them in a bowl. And then get all these little green husks to float. Once that's done, you can start using your bean sprouts or store them in the fridge. Hope you like that.